So friends as we saw in chapter 1071 Vegapunk was asking for help from someone. Because the members of CP0 had attacked on Egghead Island. Apart from this, Kazaru is also coming to Egghead Island with many navy battleships. So here Vegapunk and Straw Hat's people are in a very tough situation, because of which Vegapunk asked someone for help. So that individual replied why not. So here this guy seems very confident of his ability. But here we can see only Den Den Mushy of that person, but that too is kept turned around. Which was quite strange. Ha ha we know Oda Sensei does this all. But a question definitely arises here, who could be this person, do we already know him? Or it could be someone new, about whom we do not know. But here a kind of suspect is also created. Because Oda Sensei didn't even properly show Den Den Mushi of that guy. So I think we might already know this individual. But all we have come to know about this person is that whatever individual he is, he is very strong. Because from the conversation between Vegapunk and that guy, it seems that whoever he is. Vegapunk has a lot of faith in his ability. Vegapunk looks very happy after seeking help from this person and says that now it will be very easy to escape from this island. Apart from this, we get to know one more thing about this fellow, through Vegapunk Edison. Edison says, if that person comes out, then the world government will go after him. So this ally is some way big threat to world government. So in this video we will talk about this mysterious person. So this is going to be a theory based video. So take it in a fun way. But if you like the theory then don't forget to like the video. Now let's start the video. So whoever this ally is, it is a big threat to the world government. When he emerges, the world government will follow him. So either it is a pirate, like Shiki, Zebek and Scopper Gabon. Or either someone Lunarian, the one who has survived other than the king. Or either Sabo, who somehow survived after the destruction of the Luluzia kingdom. Or either real Kuma, so Shiki does not fit anywhere in this scenario. Because Shiki is not a person who obeys someone orders and Zebek was taken down by Garp and Roger together. In this scenario only Scopper Gabon, New Lunarian, Sabo and Real Kuma are getting fitted. So let's start with theory of Lunarian. So we know only this much about Lunarians. They are fucking strong, and they lived above the red line. Apart from this, we do not know anything. We don't even know why the world government eliminated their entire race. So going ahead in the story, we might get to know more about them through this Lunarian. This guy being a Lunarian makes sense in a way. The world government considers Lunarian as a threat. The world government has kept a bounty of 100 million berries by just giving their information. And it seemed from the words of this man if Vegapunk say yes. So he could kick some butt of this world government sycophant. And we know that Lunarians are very strong. Like how strong the king was. Now the question comes, when and how would Vegapunk have gotten this Lunarian? And why he is so loyal to Vegapunk? Vegapunk might have found both king and this Lunarian same time. Vegapunk has kept him hidden and safe from others. That's why the world government and other people including King feels that only King is the last Lunarian survival. Like Kaido helped the King. So King became loyal to Kaido. Even he was ready to sacrifice his life for Kaido. And we know, Vegapunk is a very kind-hearted person. So Vegapunk saved him from the world government and continues to save him till today. That's why this Lunarian is also loyal to Vegapunk. And with the help of this Lunarian, Vegapunk might have created perfect seraphims that look like Lunarian. Next theory is related to real Kuma. It may be the case that Vegapunk never turned Kuma into a mindless cyborg. I think Vegapunk couldn't stand to turn a friend of Dragon into a heartless monster. And it would also explain why Vegapunk tells Bonnie that he can't turn Kuma back. Because Kuma was never turned into cyborg. Instead, 
Vegapunk made a pacifist to pass off as the real Kuma, and all we know that if user Paramechia Devil Fruit user with the help of lineage factor Vegapunk might have replicated Kuma's Devil Fruit, or he might directly give poor poor Devil Fruit to Pacifista, but this theory has a plot hole, but why the dragon was acting that Pacifista was real Kuma, so this theory has plot holes. So this might be the case. Just say it's only Vegapunk knows about existence of real Kuma. Next theory, Sabo could be the guy. Somehow Sabo manages to escape from the Luluzia kingdom. And somehow he reached Egghead Island. And Sabo might be the second person who knows the existence of Imu. And Imu Sama does not want the world to know about his existence. Let's not go deep into this topic we already discussed in the previous video. In short, if the world government knows that Sabo is still alive, so again they will chase him. But still, this theory doesn't make sense at a few points. Now let's talk about the final person Scopper Gabon. There are two theories related to Scopper Gabon. This arc is kind of parallel to Sabodi Archipelago. Silver's Rayleigh was introduced in Sabodi, the first mate of the Roger Pirates to start the Marineford saga. Scopper being introduced here to start the final saga clearly parallels the introduction and serves well narratively to drop some endgame lore. There are more parallels to Sabodi. Sentomaru, Kazaru, and the new Pacifista are in the mix as well. Plus it's the first arc after Luffy joined a specially named group. He joined the Supernovas in Sabodi and now he has joined the Yonku. After the Roger Pirates disband they went into hiding, which explains why this person would be out of the spotlight. Someone who was part of the only group to have ever witnessed One Piece and learned the world's true history would hide under someone smart and knowledgeable like Vegapunk. Let's talk about the last theory. There's a Japanese TV show produced by Toei Company called Space Sheriff Gavin, with the main character Space Cop Gabon. Scopper Gabon might be based of this character. In this show, Gabon uses a power called Scooper to save a famous Professor Kamenaga. So Oda Sensei might inspire by this and going to do the same. Where Gabon will save Vegapunk. So these all were interesting theories from my side. I hope you all like the theory. But guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for such interesting videos. See you all guys in the next video.